Plant Kingdom Classification of the Plant Kingdom The Kingdom Plantae, popularly known as the Plant Kingdom, includes all multicellular, photosynthetic producers of the biosphere. A generalized system of classification is represented here. Algae. Algae are chlorophyll bearing, simple, autotrophic, non vascular, phalloid, aquatic plants. Algae are useful to man in many ways. One noted example is that of spirulina, a unicellular alga which is rich in proteins and vitamins and used as a food supplement. Based on the nature of the photosynthetic pigment, Food storage material and complexity of their structures, algae are classified as green, brown, and red algae, as shown here. Bryophytes Bryophytes include non-vascular plants like liverworts and mosses that are found growing in moist, shaded areas. They are regarded as the amphibians of the plant kingdom, because they require water during sexual reproduction and to complete their life cycle. The plant body of bryophytes is more differentiated than that of algae. The bryophytes are broadly divided into liverworts and mosses. Study the differences between the two. Pteridophytes Pteridophytes are seedless vascular plants with a dominant sporophytic plant body. The plant body is differentiated into true root, stem, and leaves. All these organs possess well-differentiated vascular tissues. The pteridophytes comprise of four classes. Psilopsida, Hycopsida, Sphenopsida, and Pteropsida. Gymnosperms. Gymnosperms include medium-sized trees and shrubs in which seeds are naked and they do not bear flowers and fruits. They are also vascular plants with well-developed vascular tissues, namely xylem and phloem. Gymnosperms include three classes, Psychodopsida, Coniferopsida and Netopsida. Angiosperms. Angiosperms are the flowering plants. Angiosperms are highly evolved, exceptionally large group of plants occurring in wide range of habitats. In these vascular plants, plant body is differentiated into root, stem, and leaves. At maturity, the plants bear flowers, which produce fruits and seeds. The fruit not only covers and protects the seeds, but also helps in their dispersal. Plant life cycles. Three different plant life cycles are shown here. In haplontic life cycle, the free living haploid Photosynthetic gametophyte is the dominant phase which alternates with the sporophyte. Many algae like Volvox, Spirogyra and some species of Chlamydomonas exhibit this pattern of life cycle. In diplontic life cycle, the independent diploid photosynthetic sporophyte is dominant which alternates with the gametophyte. This type of life cycle is seen in all gymnosperms and angiosperms. Haplodiplontic life cycle is an intermediate condition where sporophytic and gametophytic phases alternate in such a way that they are represented almost equally. Bryophytes and pteridophytes exhibit this type of life cycle.